What's good, spiritual family? I hope everybody having an amazing day so far. Keeping your energy high because you deserve it. And you know that. Now I'm going to start bringing y'all more videos, more frequent. I'm going to try to drop one video a day. I asked a question on my Instagram and got a lot of great topics to talk about. The reason why I haven't been posting so many videos because I've been getting really in tune with myself. And when I say really in tune with myself, I mean I've been observing myself more. Observing the way I feel, what I go through in my daily life. I've been observing people around me, the energy around me, all I'm in tune with. Now I'm ready to drop more videos. I'm ready. Because I've been through a lot. And it's been the most amazing experience on the spiritual journey I'm on. So, yesterday on my Instagram, I asked, will y'all give me some topics to speak on? And y'all did quite a lot. And I appreciate that. Somebody asked me how to deal with the ego in this third dimension that we're living in. What, come to, what comes to mind when I think of the ego is you're more, let's say, very confident side to the point where it seems a bit rude to others. It's like you feel yourself too much. What I would say, if I was to tell somebody face to face how to deal with their ego, I would tell them to first understand that you are not superior to any living being out here. You are just equal to them as they are a mirror of you. You resonate with what I'm saying? How can you feel better than anybody if they're you? If there's no such thing as I, if there's no such thing as we, they, myself, me, it's just a such thing as being in the moment, a part of the moment. When you think like that on a consistent daily basis, your subconscious mind will grasp, you know what I'm saying? It will get the concept that you're a part of everything. And the egotistical mindset will probably never leave, but it will suppress a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It will leave just a little bit. You know, with the ego mindset, it's hard to really gain a new perspective. Because even when you're trying to find a new perspective to gain, you still got your subconscious mind telling you, you're right. You know the answers. You got all the answers. They can't teach you nothing. You know what I'm saying? Our ego can shorten our growth as spiritual beings. Now, it's important to have your ego if you're trying to be confident in, let's say, a sport. Talking to a woman. Talking to a crowd. It's, it's important to have that certain amount of confidence in yourself. I just don't feel like it's necessary to be egotistic, egotistical, when it comes to your looks, how somebody else looks, why you don't like this certain genre, why you don't like this certain way of teaching. I think it's important to let your judgmental side go. And that has a lot to do with, deal with our ego, our judgmental side. If we wasn't judging every single thing out here and just letting it do its thing, we would simply be able to like enjoy it of its entirety, every angle, every perspective, like every, every perspective another being has to offer. Our ego was created. It wasn't given naturally. It was created. We came into this world with no ego at all, if you ask me. 
throughout TVs, you know, television, you know, social media, music. The things that the Matrix is pushing, programmed us to put ourselves on a pedestal. Why listen to this? Why do it like that when everybody's doing it this way? Why look like this when everybody's aiming to look like that? We wasn't thinking like that as kids. We was just being a part of the moment. A white child doesn't know the difference when it steps close to a black child until a mother or father tells it so, vice versa. It doesn't know no better. It's just living in the moment. Hey, you're a bean. You want to play? Let's play. I don't care about your skin color or anything. That egotistical mindset is not there in the beginning. It's not a natural given. It's forced upon us to be egotistical. You got to learn to live in the moment, man. You got to learn to really enjoy the moment. Really calm down. Don't be so caught up in the third dimension. Check your routines. In one's routine, he probably goes throughout social media all day. Just looking at things, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Looking at all the TikToks, all the Instagram feeds, Facebook, Facebook feeds. Looking into everybody else's life. Imagine what that's doing to your subconscious mind on a daily basis. You are no longer yourself, but you are a reflection of everyone else. We gotta detox ourselves from our phones, shoot, probably from bad company. Cause you gotta understand your ego has to be fed in order to grow. If you don't feed your ego, it will naturally suppress itself. Will it disappear? I haven't reached that point. But will it lessen? Most definitely I experienced it. When you hang around people that's dealing with certain things that you're trying to detox from, you have to distance yourself. The same way you're distancing yourself from social media and Facebook and TikTok, just because you're distanced, like just because you create a distance with that. Doesn't mean that your folk, like your folks have. You understand me? Your people might be still, you know, their brain might be still saturated with all that junk food. Feeding their egos. Doesn't make them wrong. It doesn't make you better than them. It's just your individual journey that you chose to embark. You see, I feel like when people do go on a journey to take away their, e take away their ego, per se, they, feel, they still feel as if they're doing something better than the other individuals. You gotta lose that, you gotta lose that mindset. You're not better than anybody because you're doing something on your individual journey. It's just simply you doing that on your in individual journey and everybody else doing what they want to do on their journey. And you got to watch out for the things they put out there to program you. You got to really, you know, we are spiritual beings. So it's only natural for us to be in tune with our surroundings. You know what I'm saying? It's natural. The thing is, we're not aware of our surroundings. We're in tune. We're not aware. It's a difference. Too many people are in tune with certain things that they shouldn't be in tune with. But they stay in tune with those things because they're not aware of them being in tune with it. Don't let that go over your head. I had to understand that. You could take, what they used to say, you could take a man from the hood, but you can't take the hood out of the man. That is simply because he came, he became very in tune with his surroundings to the point where he goes to a, a nice neighborhood 
he's still behaving in a hood, like in a hood type behavior. That's because he was so in tune with his surroundings, even when he get around new surroundings, he still brought his old ones with him. He wasn't aware of how in tune he was. He wasn't aware of all the toxicity he brought with him. Not saying that the hood is a bad thing. It just is, if you ask me. Like, there's no such thing as a hood. That's just where you came up at. It's crazy, man. On the spiritual journey, I got a different insight of everything that I used to describe. Everything that I used to put a definition behind. Like, oh, I'm a real nigga this. I'm a real nigga that. I don't even like to call myself a nigga no more, even though it's it seems as if as if it's just naturally a part of my vocabulary now. It's like it takes time to grow. It takes time to blossom into the being that you're supposed to be. But right now, in this moment, it's divine timing. You know what I'm saying? You are not in a hurry. You know what I mean? There's no need to feel rushed to lessen your ego, to try to delete your ego. There's no need to feel like you're pressured. If you have to, if you have to let it happen naturally, let it happen because I believe it will do so as long as you stay true to your spiritual journey and be aware of your surroundings rather than being just in tune with everything and not aware. When you embark your spiritual journey, you are going down a road of expanding your consciousness. Simply becoming really aware of everything. Gaining new understandings about everything. You see, you judge yourself when you say that you're not want where you want to be, that's nothing but your ego talking right there. And you're not judging nobody but yourself. Oh, I'm not where I want to be. Oh, I relapsed on this. Oh, I did that. Oh, I did this. We was put here to simply experience all. Oh, there's no good. There's no bad. There's no back. You know what I'm saying? Moving backwards. There's no moving forward. There's just being right here in the present moment. There's no such thing as failure. There's no such thing as slacking. There's no such thing as, you know, none of that. When you get really in tune with your spirit and realize that this is just like a big old roller coaster ride, bro. You just enter the theme park. When you enter a theme park, you don't think about, oh, this ride might do this, this ride might, you wanna experience everything before you leave the theme park. We are all the same. Life is one big stage full of Christians, full of Muslims, full of spiritual, like spiritual folks, Hindus. You know what I'm saying? It's one big stage, but the place shall end one day for all of us. So nobody's better than nobody. We all came here. We all got here. We're all trying to better ourselves. But let's not get caught up in judging ourselves. You know what I'm saying? While bettering ourselves. Understand that it's a journey. It's a journey. And when you're in a journey, there's no end destination in a journey. You just keep on going and going and going and going. Because when you go through life, you didn't got the afterlife. What's the afterlife? One big question mark. So why not enjoy the moment? Once you learn to enjoy the moment and get more in tune with your spirit and be more aware of your surroundings that you're automatically in tune with, that ego will lessen automatically. It will leave automatically. Now, will it leave permanently? I don't know. I've been still dealing with that myself. But I'm telling you, peace is right around the corner. A non-judgmental mindset is right around the corner. Cause what you say, 
once you set your mind to doing something, you can you can you can do it. You can manifest it. It's setting your mind. That's the hard part with all these distractions put in your face. Understand that the people you love can be a distraction. Social media and all that is a distraction. Some people on here talking about the matrix is a distraction. You can't be in tune with everything because when you get in tune with something, you are a spiritual being. You are a spiritual sponge. You try to look for the message in everything. When something is just got, it's just there to simply distract you, and that's it. There's no message behind it. That's it. So, it's your journey. What you gonna do? I'm gonna simply be in the moment in mind. It's beautiful, baby. It's beautiful. Comment below if you have any ideas on how to, you know, suppress your ego a little bit or how you feel about the ego or what you think one should do about the ego. For your words may reach them and resonate with them way more than my own. Peace and love to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Peace and love. Keep your vibration high because you deserve it and you know that.